Welcome back, everyone. Toys is here, and I am back again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse News Update. Today, we're going to be talking about three new figures. It's part of their DC Multiverse offshoot line. That's the more collector-friendly, more expensive line of the McFarlane Toys DC Collector's Editions, but... I would say perhaps you'll agree with me this time around. They're starting to implement things in the box, extra hands, extra head portraits. Those are things I've wanted to see, especially for the higher price point. Now, WB is still meddling, interfering with their whole no guns aspect. McFarlane Toys has actually addressed this recently at WonderCon, saying they're working on it. Hopefully they've come to an agreement. These have been in the works for quite some time, so keep that in mind. So it wasn't something they could probably implement right off the bat, but as time goes on, hopefully we will see a return to form with weapons. I opened up some Marvel Legends recently. They all have guns. It's refreshing. I'm like, oh my God, Disney allows this. <laughs> Marvel allows this, but Warner Brothers is like, mm, no, 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 no weapons. And like I said, certain characters need their weapons. And as you'll soon see, a character in this new wave is definitely missing the weapons because that is basically their whole shtick. It's a man of war. And we'll, we'll, we'll definitely talk about all of that. And on top of it, you have to think about it. While there's only three figures in this wave, it's usually a six-figure wave because each of these will get a Platinum Edition variant. Yes, this will be a six-figure wave if you are a McFarlane Toys Super Collector and you have to have every single one. I kind of go back and forth. Like with the Penguin, I really like the Super Powers version. I like the regular version as well. But at least you could pick and choose and maybe you can get the version that you think fits your collection perfectly. So before we get started, as always, I will have affiliate pre-order links down in the description below. Thank you so much for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. I try to make it easy on you guys and I love you for it. So first and foremost, we have Sergeant Rock. Who's Sergeant Rock, you ask? Well, he's the military guy of DC Comics. Much like Marvel Comics had Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos, you have Sergeant Rock for DC. And I can't honestly tell you I'm a huge, huge fan. Tell you everything about Sergeant Rock. When I think of Sergeant Rock, I have a very specific image in mind. And what McFarlane Toys has done here with this head portrait, I don't know who this is. This is a completely different look for Sergeant Rock. And I did my research and I, I was like, well, it's got to be DC Rebirth. It's got to be a new version. Something like that. No no, I I cannot pinpoint this. If you can, let me know down in the comments below. But as of now, no, I, I would never think of Sergeant Rock in this capacity. I am happy that you can take the helmet off this guy. That's pretty cool. It's a nice aspect. However, again, now you get to see he's got frosted tips. I don't know who this is. And also, I think they're going more for a mud splatter kind of thing. But it really comes out as a splatter of another sense. So I don't think that they've really achieved anything here. It's funny in looking at all this artwork and going, okay, that's Sergeant Rock and that's Sergeant Rock. And I totally get it. And he kind of has a five o'clock shadow and he's not really a beard. Why does he have a beard? I don't understand. I've never seen Sergeant Rock with a beard goatee situation, frosted tips. You know, in my head, it's like, okay, I think it's mud. It, or does he ha are they going for like a different color? It doesn't make any sense. It's kind of a letdown in the head portrait alone. The rest of the body with all the military fatigues and the boots and the green vest and the backpack with the shovel. Fine. That is Sergeant Rock through and through. But perhaps, yeah, this is going to be a situation where I'm going to say, oh, anybody making a Sergeant Rock head portrait anytime soon? Maybe I can check out... G.I. Joe Classified. Perhaps they have something that better matches. Now, in terms of the accessories in the box, well, he comes with the card stand. Yay, pat yourself on the back for that one. He comes with a knife. Okay, that's closer to a gun. He's got a, a military-type weapon. He's got a military shovel. I like that. That goes in his backpack. I like how they put that in there. He's got multiple hands, and then the helmet is removable. And as I already brought up, there are no guns in this box. And for a character like Sergeant Rock to not come with that type of arsenal, that just looks weird. That doesn't look very collector-friendly Warner Brothers. This is not McFarlane Toys' fault. I think a lot of people, they're like, oh, why aren't they doing this, McFarlane? They have to make things in accordance with DC Comics' wishes. It's 
every single company making toys has to talk to the licensor and they go yes or they go no so i'm sure everyone at mcfarland toys was like hey let's put some guns in for the character of sergeant rock and then warner brothers at the time was like "Mm -mm, no let's make it weird for the adult collectors because once again we're gonna we're gonna come here so everybody can hear this these are not for children. They are in the children's toy aisle sometimes. They're in the adjacent collector aisle. These aren't for kids. Kids aren't walking around with 30 bucks and they're definitely not walking around with 30 bucks and going, I need a Sergeant Rock action figure. These for adults. Adults buy these. Let's see an adult attention to detail. All right, so yes. Well, we all have the, the, the gun packs and the accessory packs and all that. And yes, I can equip Sergeant Rock all on my own if I need be. Thank God he has the appropriate hands to hold those weapons. But I don't want to. I want the adult collector figure for the $30 price point that I'm buying. And then on top of it, don't forget, if you are a mega collector of McFarlane Toys and you get all the Platinums, there will be a Platinum for this as well. So, I digress. No, I don't like the head portrait. Do we get Sergeant Rock? Yes. That's amazing. Is the character I've ever thought we would see? I would hope. I would hope. I, I hate to get on that tangent of, well, thank God they're making characters from DC Comics for the DC multiverse. I would assume, as long as the line continues, they would eventually get to all these characters that make up the DC universe. That would just be the thing to do eventually. So, continuing on, we have Connor Kent, Superboy. And I love that they put Connor Kent's name on the box. It's not just. Superboy this time around. My ideal Superboy from the 90s, Reign of the Superman. I even like the Infinite Crisis evil Superboy. He's cool too. Connor Kent with the black shirt with the red Superman logo and you got the blue pants, even though I think I'm pretty sure that this is mostly the Todd McFarlane body, so he's going to be a little bit taller in terms of the head portraits that he comes with. Neutral head and he's got more of a grit and teeth. I'm going to say, the sculptors for DC Multiverse, when you do teeth, bring it down a little bit. Let's not get every tooth sculpted out. It's kind of jarring. It's kind of off-putting. I don't know why. Perhaps it's just the, the kind of looks that you guys tend to go for. Minimize the teething, if that makes any sense. Too much teeth. <laughs> In many ways. So let's, let's, let's draw that back. But like I said, I like that you gave us more of an angrier head and you got the more solemn Superboy head. And if you'll notice in the box, you got extra hands. You got the flight stand. That's a nice touch as well. You get the collector card, which doesn't come with a collector stand. Look at that. There's no collector's stand. It's just the card. They put a flight stand in. That's a, that's a little golf clap for you. Now, for the extra head portrait, the baldy version of him, that's going to come from when he shaves his head, starts kind of acting a little bit more like Lex Luthor. He even gets a big L in his chest for Luthor. Ah, and I'm pretty sure that this is exactly where the head portrait comes from. That's the source material. Not exactly my favorite, not exactly something that I need for the Platinum Edition. If it was to be something with an L carved into his t-shirt, no, not something I definitely need. Perhaps you do, though, especially if you're a big McFarlane Toys collector. You're the completionist in that sense. But something in the box that kind of really grabs my attention is the effect piece. Superboy punching the ground and you have this sort of wave of energy that's destroying what he's punching. I like that. I like that effect piece. And I'm curious to see how I will implement it. If it's something primarily for the ground, maybe you can attach it to a wall. Maybe he's punching the wall, something like that. I like it. Three heads. You got the figure, extra hands, flight stand, and you got a punching wall effect, ground effect. That's a complete Superboy package phrasing, but you get the idea. There's a lot in the box to be desired. 30 bucks. I would say yes, uh, that's a pretty well done put together Superboy. You'll never need another Connor Kent. Moving on. This one totally took me by surprise in a great way. And I'm a big fan of the Jiro Kuwata bat manga, bat manga, whatever you want to say. I say manga and all you like to correct me. You're not going to, not going to do it. I've said manga for years. It's okay. Leave it alone. You don't have to correct everyone. Say what you want. We all know what you're talking about, and you definitely know what I'm talking about. But like I said, this is awesome. I love the more muted bluish grays. You got the white eyebrows. You got the mask. It even has some of those little 
it looks like brush marks, right? Oh man, that is cool. They even got the bat symbol right. This is the bat manga, the bat manga, the Japanese Batman. Couldn't be more stoked on top of it. It's on the nightfall body. So not only did they get the correct bat symbol, they got the colors right, they got the white stripes on the boots and the gloves, but then you also get some deep cuts to that Japanese Batman. And I love that, especially with a red batarang, you got the grapnel, that's cool. Extra hands to boot. You got the card stand with the card. Fine, the card is actually really cool. I totally dig that. Here's hoping we get Lord Deathman and Robin. I would love to see more of that. Maybe some goons. I just love that whole manga aspect of this Batman universe. That's really cool. This is another one. It's a home run. I'll never need another Bat manga figure. They just did the Superpowers one. Now you got it in the 7-inch DC multiverse. Superboy, Batman. Well done. Very cool for the collector's edition line. Sergeant Rock could have been there. Yes, WB interference, but that head portrait alone, that is not it. I don't know who okayed that. I don't know why they okayed that. That is not Sergeant Rock. So again, any of you customizers out there, let me know if you have a Sergeant Rock or if anything out there on store shelves or coming soon would be good for Sergeant Rock to swip swap head portrait. So that's my two cents on these new action figures. And as always, if you like what you've seen, the affiliate pre-order links are down in the description below. Make it easy on you. I really appreciate you all watching. I love talking about this with all of you. I love the great conversations we have below. Again, if you're gonna talk about how I say manga and you want it to be manga, don't. Don't do it. I, I, I don't care. I don't care how you say it. We all say different words, different ways. It doesn't matter. That's the beauty of language. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, yeah, stay tuned. we got a lot more DC Multiverse to discuss. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.